you are master teacher of biology here at vedantu guys welcome to the session and today i have brought in an amazing session on three week strategy i know your exams are very near and you are super duper uh, stressed or maybe in a panic mode or maybe worried tensed ki how about i go for the last moment revision or maybe what should be my ideal last month strategy to prepare for my boards right nothing to fear when maria is here hit on the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to our channel hit on the bell icon my yo army and without wasting any further time let's quickly get started so the very first one uh three weeks i have divided into one each week okay so we have three weeks all together so week one week two and week three strategy uh, i'll be presenting you so the first thing we all assume that we are well versed thoroughly done with the entire syllabus that we have for our entire academic year right but assumptions are not always true to get a reality check it is very essential that we have a thorough understanding of the entire chapter and when i say entire chapter yes i mean actually right from the title till the last line of the chapter we are thorough with each and every concept and for that reason i really would like to emphasize on this point that please read your textbook without reading your textbook you won't be able to accomplish your goal because in examination you never know what kind of question will be thrown at you it can be a simple straight question or it can be a twisted question but nothing will be outside of your textbook there can be an activity there can be an in text question there can be a text back question there can be a question based on some concept uh, in the form of a case based question so to be able to attempt any of those kind of questions the first and foremost thing is you should be thorough with each and every concept that has been presented in your textbook okay so read your textbook underline all the keywords uh, star mark all the important concepts maybe you can use a sticky notes and uh, uh, mark the pages that you feel that uh, this is very important okay so that's one thing read your textbook then the second thing there are uh, many instances where we find that this is the sentence but mujhe uska pura clear meaning nahi samjha i couldn't understand it i could not interpret it in the ideal manner or uh, how do i write or explain this concept in the examination so in that case i have posted detailed videos about each and every concept that is present in your textbook in the form of our prodigy series suppose you want to study biomagnification there's a video on biomagnification suppose you want to study mendelian's experiments there is a separate video on mendelian's experiment so i have posted all the videos topic wise on our youtube channel go and check it out okay now if you say that uh, ma'am i am already thorough with all the concepts i would say great okay first mission accomplished second mission revise it how do you do that to ensure that you have not skipped any of the topics you go and watch my one shot sessions okay i won't just recommend ki mere hi videos dekho you can watch any of the videos that are on the youtube platform made by uh, by amrit sir or ambika ma'am mere videos dekh lo kisi aur teacher ke dekh lo kisi ke bhi dekh lo but at least go and watch one shot sessions of the corresponding chapters it's very important so that you ensure that none of the concepts are missed by you okay that's the first tip that i would like to give it to you then the next one practice see science says that if you attend a session of 1 hour you are able to retain information of only 5 minutes out of that entire session matlab 60 minutes invest karne ke baad mein you gain only 5 minutes ka data so to register everything that you have read or studied or memorized you have to go through the same information over and over again when you practice it when you repeat it that gets engraved or engrossed in your memory okay so yep practice how do you do that first be thorough with ncert i always say ncert our textbook is our gita bible quran so there are so many questions that are uh, for uh, that are followed after every small concept that is being covered like if you take the example of uh, heredity and evolution if i only and only talk about heredity 
there is a small question asked about blood groups. You will say, ma'am, blood group was never a part of our syllabus. But question is there. And if there is a question, there is a high possibility that same kind of question or the same exact question could be asked in the examination. Yes or no? At least I won't be surprised. So if you don't want to get such surprising shocks in your examination, please, please go through each and every question that is inside your textbook, that is in text questions. Again, the questions that are present after every chapter, text back questions. Okay? So be thorough with NCRT first. बच्चों के मार्क्स जितने कम आते हैं, पापा का वॉल्यूम उतना ही बढ़ जाता है। ये होती है पढ़ाई। पर कभी सोचा है कि मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी सिर्फ बच्चों की क्यों? अब वेदांतु मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी लेगा, वरना आपकी पूरी फीस वापस। Then exemplar questions, so many kids are very thirsty of knowledge. कि we need more, ये दिल मांगे more, and it's great when it comes to academics because it's highly rewarding. Not just in terms of marks, but also in terms of knowledge. So, practice NCRT exemplar questions. They are going to definitely boost your score. Okay. Next, PYQs. Solve at least five previous year question papers. I won't say that you will be getting same questions. But the concepts on which the questions have been asked, those are the important concepts. You get an understanding about that. Second, they might change the values, they might change the names, they might uh, change the condition, but the concept will remain the same. For example, uh, in case of a dihybrid cross, suppose they have given a case, ki round wrinkled, uh, I mean round yellow wrinkled green. Instead of that, they may just give you uh, axillary purple and uh, white terminal and then they are crossed, something like that. So you come to know that which topics are important, what kind of questions can be asked and how should I attempt them. Okay, so please solve previous year questions. Then comes what else, what else shall I practice? More the merrier, I always say more the merrier. So you must definitely be having so many um, question banks handy, right? You can solve them. Apart from that, uh, Vedantu has recently premiered its short short series for all the subjects that includes biology of course. Okay, so go watch because chapter wise we have presented uh, sessions on uh, how do organisms reproduce heredity as well as our environment. So that will definitely be helpful. Okay, and the last week, last week and final week is to sit back, relax and uh, recall. Now, when I say recall, there are many things uh, which are not accomplished by us 100%. For example, uh, a brief answer has 10 points. Maybe we are able to remember only 8, 2 points. So, this is my tendency that I read a textbook. I frame an answer. Then, I write that answer once. I cross-check that I have points points. I go through it again, then I rewrite it back. Before my examination, I write it again. Still, there are few mismatches here and there, which I then cover up. This is what I missed and this is what I should remember. I can't afford to miss. So, revisit and rework. A person who, can, who never reflects upon his or her mistakes will never be able to improvise. So, reflect upon your mistakes. And improvise that's very important thing so yeah rework on your mistakes whether they are examples whether they are diagrams whether they are uh, uh, conceptual errors anything and everything rework try to reattempt the same question so even the previous examinations may it be a school examination or a class test or anything like that so that you never committed any mistake so dig out your papers check out where exactly you went wrong reattempt those Rework on your mistakes. Okay. Practice diagrams. Your diagram should neither be microscopic nor too giant. Okay. Your diagram should be decent. 10 to 12 lines big in size. It should have a proper uh, title. It should be packed in a box. The labels should be all present on uh, right hand side. If there are too many labels, balance it on both the sides. The arrows must be pointing towards the diagram. I have presented a detailed session on this. Okay. Go and check. 
uh, score more than 90% paper presentation skills, something of that sort is the title. Go and watch. Uh, it has got a huge response, by the way. Students have much appreciated that. So go and watch about the presentation skills. But yes, when it comes to diagrams, ensure that you're practicing your diagrams. See, if someone asks me to make a roti, I will, I cannot imagine ki haan, I'll need the atta and I'll uh, roll the roti this way and it will turn out to be fabulous. No. When I rolled the roti for the first time in my life, it was disastrous. Matlab, si country ke aapko resemble kar tha, I can't tell you. So, diagrams are exactly the same case. If you assume and if you imagine that I will be able to draw that well in the examination, sorry, you won't be able to. But haan, if you practice it well in hand, I mean beforehand, uh, you will be able to draw the diagram in two minutes. Do minute mein Maggie bane na bane, your diagram will definitely be ready. Okay. Then uh, ensure that you list all the important topics chapter wise. And in front of those topics, you write down the corresponding examples. For example, if I talk about how do organisms reproduce, asexual reproduction, these organisms, sexual reproduction, these organisms, budding, fission, multiple fission, fragmentation, regeneration, uh, vegetative propagation, right? Cutting, layering, grafting, everything. So you ensure that you write the concepts and in front of that you write at least two examples so that in your examination you are able to recollect at least one and at least one. बच्चों के मार्क्स जितने कम आते हैं, पापा का वॉल्यूम उतना ही बढ़ जाता है। ये होती है पढ़ाई। पर कभी सोचा है कि मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी सिर्फ बच्चों की क्यों? अब वेदांतु मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी लेगा, वरना आपकी पूरी फीस वापस। And I hope all the tips and tricks that I have given you, the three week strategy, you will be abiding to the same, okay? कायदे में रहोगे तो फायदे में रहोगे, so try to follow it. And that's it for the day. I hope you found this session to be useful. Let's meet in the next session. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Milo Hafiz. And keep watching Vedantu. And yes, to enroll with Vedantu, definitely use my coupon code. The link for enrollment is given in the description box. And that's it. Ta-da. See ya. Bye-bye, people. Allah Hafiz. Milo Hafiz. And keep watching Vedantu. Bye-bye.